Okay, dear students. So we'll start with the uh, topic of breathing and exchange of gases. So the first question that we have is, respiration is helpful in removing waste from the body, producing energy within the body, production of proteins, production of carbohydrates. So what is the answer for it? Yes, very good. So the major purpose of respiration is helpful in producing energy within the body. So they are helpful in producing energy within the body. That is the major function of respiration. Respiration, which occurs in the presence of oxygen, what is it called as? So it is called as aerobic respiration, isn't it? So respiration which occurs in the presence of oxygen is called as aerobic respiration. The surface from which the exchange of gas takes place is called plasma surface, uh, or is it called as respiratory substrate, or is it respiratory surface, or gaseous surface? The surface from which the exchange of gas takes place, what do you call it as? So it is called as respiration surface. The answer is respiration surface. So during respiration, Oxygen is produced and carbon dioxide is consumed. Oxygen is consumed and carbon dioxide is produced. Both oxygen and carbon dioxide are produced. Both oxygen and carbon dioxide are consumed. So what is happening during respiration? So oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is produced, isn't it? Oxygen is consumed and carbon dioxide is produced. So fourth one B is the answer. Fifth one, a respiratory surface must be thin, moist, widespread, all of these. So a respiratory sur surface must be thin, moist, and widespread. All, all of these are the answer. So which of the following shows pulmonary respiration? Sponge, fishes, sealant rate, human beings. So which of the following, they show the pulmonary respiration. So the sixth one, the answer is D. So human being shows uh, pulmonary respiration, okay? What is called the upper region of pharynx in man? Is it called as oropharynx, nasopharynx, laryngopharynx, none of this. So what is the upper region of pharynx in man called as? So it is nothing but nasopharynx. So nasopharynx is the upper region of pharynx in man. So the diameter of human trachea is about one centimeter, 2.5 centimeter diameter they are asking about, or is it two inches or 0.1 centimeter? What is the diameter of human trachea? So the diameter of human trachea is 2.5 centimeter. So the diameter of human trachea is about 2.5 centimeter. The length of human trachea, this is length. So is it six inches, 12 centimeter, 12 inches or 18 centimeters? So what is the length of human trachea? It is 12 centimeter. The length of human trachea is about 12 centimeter. The trachea is supported by cartilaginous rings, which are, what shape are they? C-shaped, L-shaped, O-shaped, S-shaped. What is the shape of this cartilaginous ring which supports the trachea? So the answer is 10th one. The answer is A, that is C-shaped uh, cartilaginous ring. Sound production in humans is controlled by nares, lungs, larynx, pharynx. Okay, so which is the uh, sound production in human is controlled by? So 11th C is the answer, that is the larynx or voice box, okay? So a lung contains small, many small balloon-like hair sacs, which are called as the alveoli. So the balloon-like hair sacs are called as alveoli. So 12th one, B is the answer. So 13th one, the intake of air is called as inhalation. The intake of air is called as inhalation. Okay, so intercostal muscles regulate the movement of, so which 
movement they regulate ribs trachea diaphragm pharynx the answer is intercostal muscles they regulate the movement of trachea the ribs they regulate the movement of ribs the muscles present between ribs are called phrenic muscles intercostal muscles cardiac muscles voluntary muscles the muscles present between ribs what are they called as so the 15th one the answer is b the intercostal muscles during exhalation the diaphragm moves apart downwards upwards or inwards so during exhalation the diaphragm moves so which direction they are going to move so the answer is upwards diaphragm is going to move upwards respiratory control centers are located in lungs medulla oblongata spinal cord or ribs 17th one b is the answer medulla oblongata controls the respiratory control centers are located in the medulla oblongata so the deoxygenated blood from heart comes to the lungs by pulmonary artery the deoxygenated blood from heart comes to the lungs by pulmonary artery so 18th one a is the answer 19th one oxygen containing blood transported from lungs to heart by so oxygen containing blood is transported from lungs to heart by pulmonary vein so pulmonary artery is the only artery which carries deoxygenated blood whereas all the other arteries carry oxygenated blood pulmonary vein is the only vein which carries pure blood that is oxygenated blood whereas all the veins they carry deoxygenated blood so this exceptions also you should remember so oxygen containing blood is transported from lungs to heart by pulmonary vein how much fraction of oxygen is transported to tissues through rbcs so how much fraction of oxygen is transported to tissues through rbcs is it 100% 56% or is it 45% or is it 97 percent so 97 percent of oxygen is transported to tissues through rbcs h2co3 that is uh, carbonic acid is converted into carbon dioxide and water with the help of an enzyme known as carbonic anhydrase so the 21st the answer is d so 22nd the metal ion present in hemoglobin is iron so it is quite easy one so 22nd a is the answer so 23rd so one rbc can transport about how many molecules of oxygen it is not one hemoglobin they have asked it as one rbc can transport about how many molecules of oxygen just look at the vastness of it it is 1 billion okay see uh, 1 billion it is going to so 1 billion is 100 million so you can just imagine so 100 millions 1 million is 10 lakhs so 100 millions so you can add up one more uh, a zero there okay so it would be 1000 lakhs that is what it means 1 billion so one rbc can transport about 1 billion molecules of oxygen see these are general knowledge oriented question so you have to remember these sort of things they might not be given in ncert but these sort of questions can come as uh, the questions outside of your ncert so you should be knowing that how many percentage of carbon dioxide is transported in the form of carbamino compounds is it 70% 90% or is it 5% or 20% so major part it is transported as bicarbonates isn't it so the 24th the answer is d so 20% of carbon dioxide is transported in the form of carbamino compounds the largest amount of carbon dioxide is transported in blood as so 25th b it is transported in the blood as bicarbonates 
Okay. Chloride backshift is associated with the uh, transport of. So the chloride back shift is associated with the transport of. Again, this is an outside the uh, syllabus question. So it is associated with the transport of oxygen. Okay. So carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. So 27th B is the answer. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. So 28 bronchitis is a bacterial infection. So bronchitis, inflammation of bronchi. So it is a bacterial infection. 28A. Asthma is a disease of pharynx, trachea and its branches, lungs, blood capillaries. So asthma is a disease of, so the 29th B is the answer, trachea and its branches, the bronchi and bronchioles. So their uh, uh, openings are reduced because of the inflammation of them. So asthma is a disease of trachea and its branches. The flattening of alveolar ducts or tracheal vessels, they result in so asthma, emphysema, lung cancer, or is it bronchitis? So the flattening of alveolar duct, so what does it result in? So the 30th, the answer is B, emphysema. Flattening of alve alveolar duct results in emphysema. So which of these protects the lung, larynx? Okay, the voice box. Is it pharynx, trachea, epiglottis, nasopharynx? So which of these protects the larynx? So the 31st, the answer is C. So the epiglottis is going to protect the larynx. Trachea terminates in bronchi, alveoli, bronchioles, nair. So, so trachea terminates in alveoli. Okay, 32nd, the answer is A. So trachea terminates in bronchi, sorry, not alveoli. Trachea terminates in bronchi. In which form carbon dioxide is not transported by blood plasma? Is it sodium bicarbonate, potassium bicarbonate, carb amino proteins, or potassium oxyhemoglobin. So in which form carbon dioxide is not transported by blood plasma? So uh, the question is 33rd, the answer is B. So they are not transported as potassium bicarbonate. Which one is not viral infection? So occasional lung disease, bronchitis, asthma, emphysema. Which one is not a viral infection? So 34th, uh, the answer is A is not a viral infection. Vocational lung disease, it is because of profession. So vocational lung disease is not a viral infection. In which case specific gases, chemicals, or suspended particulate matter in air are not responsible for the disease. In which case, specific gases, chemicals, or suspended particulate matter in air are not responsible for this disease. So, silicosis, asbestosis, fibrosis, pneumonia. So, 35th, the answer is D. So 35th D is the answer because it is caused by a microorganism, not by gases, chemicals, or suspended matter. So they respire through lungs, fish, cockroaches, crocodiles, earthworm. So which of them respire through lungs? Crocodiles, reptiles, they respire through lungs. 36th C is the answer. 37th, the muzzle taking part in rapid beating, breathing, muscles of rib cage, muscles of neck region and abdominal region, thoracic and abdominal muscles, uh, muscles of neck region and thoracic region. So there is a repetition of this. So muscles of neck region, no, it is abdominal region and thoracic region. The muscles which take part in rapid breathing is 
muscles of neck region and abdominal region. So 37th B is the answer. So 38th, human lungs are situated in the abdominal cavity, thoracic cavity, inside diaphragm, abdominal cavity. So it is located, human lungs are situated in thoracic cavity. Blockage in respiratory passage in humans is prevented due to the uh, presence of epiglottis, larynx, alveoli, uh, C-shaped cartilaginous ring. So the blockage in respiratory passage in humans is prevented due to the presence of which one of them? So 39th, the answer is D, that is C-shaped cartilaginous rings. They prevent the collapse of this uh, respiratory passage. So blockage in respiratory passage in humans is prevented due to the presence of C-shaped cartilaginous ring. 40th, in human beings, left lung is slightly smaller, left lung is slightly wider, right lung is slightly smaller, both lungs are of similar size. So in human beings, so uh, this is again general knowledge question of it. So you should be aware about it. So left lung is slightly smaller. 40th A is the answer. The left lung is slightly smaller. The next question, it substantiates. The left lung is slightly smaller. So has, it is exception, no specific reason, both A and B to accommodate heart. So what is the reason the left lung is slightly smaller? So the 41st, the answer is D, to accommodate heart. So left lung is slightly smaller to accommodate heart. See, these are contents which we do not discuss in the NCRT or regular classes. And so the exposure to such questions adds on more information to us. So the left lung is slightly smaller so as to accommodate heart. In which disease lung tissues degenerate? Is it bronchitis, pneumonia, asthma, or emphysema? In which of these disease lung tissues degenerate? So the 42nd, the answer is D, emphysema. So the lung tissues are going to degenerate. Which is the lung disorder related to profession? So lung disorder related to profession silicosis, emphysema, pneumonia, asthma. Silicosis is a lung disease related to vocation or profession, silicosis. Okay, 44, this disease is due to first virus infection followed by bacterial attack, asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, allergy. So this disease is due to, so 44th, the answer is B. Bronchitis is first because of viral infection, which is followed by bacterial attack. The disease in which masses of undifferentiated cells are formed in uh, tracheal walls. Is it acute bronchitis, emphysema, lung cancer, or pneumonia? The disease in which uh, masses of undifferentiated cells are formed in tracheal walls. So the 45th, the answer is C, lung cancer. This disease is due to allergens, emphysema, bronchitis, pneumonia, asthma. So the 46th, the answer is D, asthma is due to allergic allergens. During inhalation, the following activities occurs. Area of rib cages increases, diaphragm is pulled upwards. Area of rib cage increases, diaphragm is pulled downward. Area of rib cage reduces, diaphragm gets contracted. Area of rib cage reduces, diaphragm gets relaxed. Okay, so the 47th, the answer is B. The area of rib cage increases, diaphragm is pulled downward. Blood transports oxygen in the form of HHPO2, KHCO3, KHPO2, H2CO3. So how does blood transport oxygen in the form of, it is oxyhemoglobin. So 48, the answer is C. So it is carried in the form of potassium oxyhemoglobin. So blood transports oxygen in the form of potassium oxyhemoglobin. 
hemoglobin in which three forms of carbon dioxide is transported by blood so as a solution carbamino compounds bicarbonates as a solution carbamino proteins potassium bicarbonate as a solution carbamino hemoglobin sodium bicarbonate as a solution carbamino compound and carbonic acid so 49th the answer is b so it is carried as a solution carbamino proteins and potassium bicarbonate so it is carried as carbamino proteins are formed in blood plasma blood platelets blood cells or rbc so carbamino proteins are formed in so 50th the answer is a carbamino proteins are formed in blood plasma okay the next 51st question the center which excites both the activities during rapid breathing is ventral respiratory center lateral respiratory center pneumotoxic center dorsal respiratory center the center which excites both the activities during rapid breathing is which is the center so 51st the answer is a ventral respiratory center the function of pneumotoxic center is so 50 second the answer is a to regulate inhalation the function of pneumotoxic center is to regulate inhalation during normal breathing the ventral respiratory center maintains rhythmicity of respiration does not play a significant role so excites both inhalation and exhalation regulates breathing just now we discussed the ventral respiratory center it excites both the activities during rapid breathing so excites both inhalation and exhalation so 53rd the answer is b uh, during normal breathing the ventral respiratory center does not play any significant role 53rd b is the answer eight patient are susceptible to this respiratory disease pneumonia fibrosis emphysema asthma so what are they susceptible for so 54th the answer is a pneumonia because they do not have uh, the immunity to prevent them from infecting them the full form of hba is hydrogen bond bromide henson bond hydrogen bond hemoglobin so the full form of hb is 55th the answer is d hemoglobin hhp is h2b heavy hydrogen bond reduced bromide or hemoglobin acid so what is 56 what does it hhb stand for so the 56th the answer is d it is hemoglobin acid hhb is hemoglobin acid the enzyme carbonic anhydrase is of which type lyase reversible unidirectional isomerase so what type of carbonic anhydrase is of what type so 57th the answer is b it is reversible what is the role of buffer system in blood so 58th the role of buffer system in Uh, blood is to maintain ph of blood plasma to maintain ph of blood or to maintain ph of rbc or to maintain ph of blood platelets the role of buffer system in blood is to maintain ph of blood so 59th carbon dioxide combines in human rbc with which ion of hemoglobin so is it amino ion or is it hydroxyl or is it proton or is it cooh so carbon dioxide combines in human rbc with which ion of hemoglobin answer is 59th amino so they form carbamino compound isn't it so 59th a is the answer so 60th on respiratory surface surface khco3 formed in rbc reacts with on respiratory surface they react with reduced 
or uh, acidic hemoglobin so they are going to on respiratory surface khco3 formed in rbc reacts with 60th the answer is a okay hhp ot where bicarbonate is converted into carbonic acid in the rbc of capillaries around the cells bicarbonate is converted into carbonic acid so 61st is a 62nd the maximum amount of oxygen is transported in human by rbc 62nd is rbc 63rd after ending entering rbc chlorine reacts with potassium ion okay chlorine reacts with potassium ion 63rd the answer is a 64th carbon dioxide from rbc enters blood plasma in the form of h2co3 or bicarbonate ion so carbon dioxide from rbc enters blood plasma in the form of bicarbonate so 64th b is the answer so 65th the human ribs are accessory respiratory organs do not help in breathing our main respiratory organs they are not respiratory organs so 65th d is the answer so 66th respiration rate is the lowest during sleeping not running playing eating it is lowest during sleeping so hamburger's phenomenon is also known as chloride shift so shift of chloride we call it as hamburger's phenomenon so 67th is d 68th oxygen carrying capacity of blood is 20% oxygen carrying capacity of blood is 20% so 69th the respiratory movements are controlled by medulla oblongata 70th at higher carbon dioxide concentration oxygen disassociation curve of hemoglobin will so that disassociation curve of uh, hemoglobin will it move to left move to right become irregular or move upwardly at higher carbon dioxide concentration oxygen dissociation curve so the 70th the answer is b move to the right the dissociation curve of hemoglobin will move to the right chloride shift is required for transport of nitrogen oxygen or is it carbon dioxide so the 71st the answer is c so it is necessary for transport of carbon dioxide so volume of air inspired or expired with each normal breath is known as is it known as inspiratory capacity total lung capacity or tidal volume or residual volume so the answer for 70 seconds so you should mark up all those definitions it is tidal volume volume of air inspired or expired with each normal breath is known as tidal volume so oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve will shift to right on decrease of what acidity carbon dioxide temperature ph so 73rd the answer is d on decrease of ph the oxygen hemoglobin curve will shift to right on decrease of ph is double membrane Blood sac is situated. Envelops the kid. Uh, double membrane blood sac is situated. Envelops the kidney. Envelops the brain. Envelops the lungs. Lines the nasal passage. So where does this blood sac, double membrane blood sac, situated? Seventy fourth. The answer is C. It is situated or it envelops the lungs. Plural sac. so spelling mistake is a plural sac it should be so the volume of air remaining in lungs after maximum respiratory effort is vital capacity residual volume total lung capacity tidal volume so the answer for 75th is b so that is residual volume i think with the 75 questions we'll stop at this juncture
okay so any doubts or clarifications in whatever we have discussed dear students any doubts or clarifications okay so please go through the textbook and read it and be thorough for your sunday's multiple choice question okay so i have solved nearly 75 questions remember we have solved in this topic 75 questions so we'll see if time permits will uh, solve the remaining or i'll forward the paper later on okay asthma is cannot be said as genetic disease uh, because there is inflammation of this uh, trachea and its branches sometimes it might be they are vulnerable genetically vulnerable okay uh, so that could also be there so it could be genetic factor could be one of the factors but it is not a genetic disease as such so some of them are allergic see allergic reactions also leads to the asthma symptoms what is asthma going to happen the space for air passage will be reduced because of inflammation of these walls of bronchi or trachea their walls get uh, thickened up and the space for uh, the movement of air is were reduced it can happen due to allergy okay so various factors are there so but you cannot say it as like color blindness or hemophilia you cannot say that it is genetic disease okay so the maybe the genetic vulnerability might also be one of the reasons for asthma but it is not an genetic disease there might be a family history okay that might be because of vulnerability of the uh, respiratory organs that might be there but it is not a, like inherited from one generation to another generation like hemophilia or the other uh, genetic disorders sickle cell anemia so we don't include under that characteristics but maybe genetically they are prone for asthma they are vulnerable for asthma especially if they are having this allergy so they are prone to have this asthma okay so a lot of information is there regarding that anyway uh, but it cannot be categorized as a genetic disorder okay so see you all then uh, have a nice and wonderful day ahead take care so we'll